Jesus. Let us go into the book of Luke. Chapter 13. And verse 31. Up to verse 35. We want to read those two scriptures. And Luke 19. And Luke 19. Luke 19, verse 18. Let us begin. Luke chapter 13. Luke chapter 13. Luke chapter Nava gamba and Mugende Mugambi and Kelly Tanya Yonti Lava. Go back diamond in Ponya Van to the Ronensha. Nekuna Kuroksa to the Tokiziwa. Nayaching one, the Dokutam Black or the Ronensha, no red bead. Kubanga to change the cannab because the kid is a whale, why yellow salami. Guayel salami, yellow salami. At Tabanabi, a Kuba may in Java to me by Jali. A Mirundi and Mekanga and Jagaroku Kunga and Yavanabo. Ngenko kuwe kunga inzo wana wayo mbewa watu vya yo, sote mwakiliza. Lava, enyumba ya mwebale kedwa chifulukwa. Elamba gamba anti temuli indaba, ukutusa lwemuli gamba anti awe duwa mkisajia muli nyali ya mkamba. Kubila yesu ingaliza. Give God a might hand of praise. Ukutusa lwemuli gamba. Until that blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. So we are seeing the word of the prophecy. When Jesus was prophesying upon himself, he was speaking to Jerusalem. The Pharisees came unto him. The one that hated him. The one who doesn't love him. The one who never wished him good. The one who wanted him dead. The one who wanted him destroyed. And they showed that they are on his side. And they told him the way he should go. And they told him the trouble he is facing. And they told him you better leave this place. So that you may run. And change the location. Because Herod is seeking for your life. After speaking that, after he was told that, and Jesus said, Go and tell that fox. Was Jesus abusing? Jesus wasn't abusing. He was speaking the truth. When he could say that you were stupid, he is not abusing. He has spoken what you are. Wanji. Yes. Wanji. He has spoken what you are. Yes, and Jesus said, that folks. That I'm still healing and I'm still chasing demons and I'm resurrecting the dead. That's, I'm doing what I was called to do. What am I going to say? There are things that attack our lives. That attacks our destiny. That attacks our calling. That attacks what God expects us to do. Which attacks our vision. Which which attacks our purpose in God. But this is the truth. Nothing is going to hinder you to do what God wants you to do. What God called you to be. That's what we are going to be. Jesus was called to preach the gospel, to cast out demons, to heal the sick, and to resurrect the dead. And he said, tell that folks who is threatening me, who's trying to frighten me that I'm going nowhere. I have a mission to accomplish. I have to heal the sick. I have to resurrect the dead. I have to chase such demons. And he said, go and tell him. I'm speaking unto you. I'm speaking the situation attacking you. I'm speaking to what is sick in you. I'm speaking to what has caused you fear. What 
what you are is what you are is what we are going to be in the name of our Lord Jesus Jesus said the Pharisee that I'm going to be here yesterday and tomorrow and the next day I'm still around here to speak to you you are going to be there though so you have cancer you are going to exist so they said you have HIV you are going to live but they said you are not going to be what you are going to do what God planned for you you are going to be those who are waiting for you they will see you tomorrow when you are there the next day they will see you when you are there they are saying that you are going to live that family that you are going to live they will see you the next day they see the next year And Jesus said that go and tell that fox there are things that should not frighten you that the elder chairman said he has given you two weeks and he just said that go and tell that fox that the witch said I'm going to bewitch you so that the mouth got there. Just go and say, tell that folks. Uh-huh. That I'm still chasing demons today and tomorrow and the other day I'm going to be there until I accomplish my mission. So I'm not going to be diverted. Today is the door preaching. I'm preaching for a few minutes. There is something which God established for you and no one can make you fall. There is what God established and no one can shake you. What he planned for you is yours. That job is yours. What is frightening you that you are going to be expelled. You are going to be suspended. Tell them that you folks I am still existing. Mm. Your strength your wisdom you will show it off when I'm not around but I'm still around. Go to the an area and say this area. As long as I'm to live here, what has been ruling here will never rule anymore. As long as I stand, as long as I'm standing, since I have come, what have been that that is like this? Nothing is going to frighten me. Say I'm. I'm going to exist. I'll be here tomorrow and yesterday until my day of accomplishment. Praise the Lord. Listen. Listen. Mm. It was for me that I may walk today tomorrow and the next day so that you may see me walking. If you, you think that hell is going to kill me, it's worth even to live where I have been so that I may walk ahead that you may see me today and tomorrow and the next day. I thank God there are people that are 
confronted me. In the days of spending salvation. And they see you, you were there the next day. Another day they find you again. And they give you job and say you will not do it. And you do it. And you send out you will not do the second one. And you could complete it again. I'm speaking it unto you. Whatsoever fox that has been before you. Whatsoever fox that has been before you. Whosoever has been a fox before you. The one that has been planning that you may fall. Planning that you fail. Planning that you may not succeed. I tell that fox. This year is going to find you here. Next year they will find you there. The other year they will find you there. When you are entering to another boat, when you are going to another boat, when you are from glory to glory, I reach from glory to another. From glory to glory. From down, going up, nothing is going to set you back. Praise the Lord. Look to the words of Jesus. I'm going to chase the demons. I'm going to heal the sick. I'm going to resurrect the dead. And I'm going to do things other people are not doing. I will remain doing that. I pray for the anointing that makes you to do extraordinary things. I'm saying that you are going to do things that are extraordinary I pray that God may elevate you where you are. Where you had been content. Where the world used to see you. All the time that he may lift you. That he may elevate you to another level. The more she prayed but against her cousin. The more God elevated her. The more she no prayed way. that they may separate no way safe for, with the SFC guy. The more she prayed that they may separate, they will go and scatter the money. Now and she could feel dying inside. I pray. For you, that whosoever puts you down, so that he may hear you tomorrow. The one you've been bewitching not to get fired, that he has produced a full at once. The one whom you've been bewitching not to get he has done the wedding at Sheraton. I pray for you that you may have be upon you. The one you've been bewitching. That he will not become anything. And you hear them that is exchanging I pray for you for that. And I release that grace upon you. And I release the anointing upon your life in the name of Jesus. And Jesus said, if you are seeing me from here, you are despising me. You Pharisees, you are despising me. But you don't know that there is a day which I'm going to enter into Jerusalem and everyone will say, blessed he that comes in the name of the Lord. That's where I get a mate. You find a Christian. When they are on a fellow Christian, they are interceding, fasting, they are praying, 
They are breaking it. They are uprooting it. And he said, Jerusalem, you are killing the prophets. The one who would let them live. Now you are an Ekira. The prophets of God. Whose prophets are those? They are prophets of God. Who is the owner of Jerusalem cities? The Lord's city. The one who is supposed to make it live has become into a murderer. I pray that someone who is like a Jerusalem I pray the grace that you may do what you are supposed to do. What you are not supposed to do. Which you are not created to be. That you may not become it. You are created to make others live. You are created to gather as a chick gathers its chicks into her wings. That's how Jerusalem was. But now Jerusalem I send into a murderer. I pray that you may be someone to be loved. I pray that you may gather that you may be a protector when you can protect as the chicken protects the chicks. You also be that that people may know that you are blessing unto them not a curse unto them there is no Christian that was created when inside that person there is a cursing time. there is no cursing inside of you there is no cursing out of evil whatsoever Christian where you have to be whosoever tests you has to test something good whosoever Whoever tests you has to test something good. Whosoever tests you has to test life. But you find Christians are tearing apart each other. Jerusalem, Jerusalem. Who continues to kill the prophets? The city Jerusalem. Jerusalem. Jerusalem, Echibuga, Chamukama, The city which has to be killed, it has become into a murder. The, the Ratia city has turned into a murderous city. So tell the person next to you, tell that fellow Christian, you are a city, a city of the Lord, which is the righteous one. Never allow evil to walk within you. You are not a murderer. You are the one that gives life. You are not the one who scatters. You are the one that gathers. You are not a destroyer. You are a protector. Amen. Praise the Lord. Yes, Jesus. The city has turned into something else. Which he knew that it is going to do its own job. 
Now it is doing the opposite. Oh Jerusalem. Hagan the words in Jerusalem. Jerusalem, Jerusalem. You who continue to kill the prophets. Gwe yeyongero kutaba nabi. And to stone those who are sent to you. No kuba mainja baba kutumirwa joli. Gamba waliwo abantu ngamuloko buli amutumirwa. They are those Christians who so whoever is sent to them. Ngakwate jinja. Hagamba wo lugana neso nyiwa. Nava ku bantu. Be pu. That's why you see there is a lot of words in the church. Who has ever had a dream when you are being stoned? When in the fellow Christians are the ones stoning you. Now they are throwing words unto you. You just see that person there. There is nothing. You see... So everything when you wear your good shoes Mama yera gachi bolaba no buguru we yera gachi obuguru bwa wanika obuguru bwa wanika senga nabadde no kuguru ogamba kale Anto tebe manyi When you put on your wig and you make your hairstyle, no, you come to church. <laughs> Whosoever comes unto you, you are throwing stones. Jesus. Let him clean his house. Jesus. Clean your house. The, the day he entered Jerusalem, he came straight to the temple. He found those ones exchanging money. The money changers. And he said, is it what you are supposed to do in the church? They had made a market within the church. So he got the whips and he gave them. Whosoever comes to you, whosoever is sent to you, you are throwing stones. You see here in the church when we are seated, each and every one you are a brother's keeper. If someone puts on and one breath is out, it's your responsibility. Why? The one that has it breast and the breast is out then he's getting a stone. He's stoning whosoever is sent to them. Let, let her be crowned so that she becomes a pastor. Whosoever comes to you, you reply with the stones. Shame upon me. Shame upon me. Shame upon me. Shame of me. Jerusalem. Jerusalem. Whosoever comes to you, you get stones and stones. And even those that are sent, so that he may put you right in the way you are doing things. 
All of us, we grew up in different families. Some of us, we came from Acholi. Others came from Central. Others are from East. Others came from the North East. All of us came from different backgrounds. All of us came from back. And we all gather in one place. And then we saw the mixture. Each and every one. And we say, We are like grasshoppers that are in one polythene bag. Say that, dear Lord. I, Jerusalem, I'm a seat of the Lord. I have to gather. The bad and the good. I have to put them together. Not stoning them. Uh -huh. How often I have desired the and the end to gather your children. These elders of the church are understanding. That's why the anointing is flowing. That's why the anointing is flowing. They have, they have seen it. Listen. How often I have desired and yearned to gather your children together. I have tried to put you together so that you may be in one place that you may understand Jerusalem that I'm your God that I may gather your children that you may be in one accord but the more I gather them the more you scatter them Hallelujah. praise the Lord I want to let you know we, the church, God blessed us. We see we are like few. But in our small number, we are so strong. And we are going to do great and mighty things. Someone spoke a word. And he touched me. And he said, but that church makes weddings. That church, they make weddings. They send people into marriages. Do you know what? But you see, they are not billionaires. Billionaires, they fear. How? How will it be? But you see the children that are gay doing their weddings. They are not financially well. But when they are in Jerusalem, when God has gathered us like chicks, and those chicks are working together, whatsoever comes across them, they just attack. They take 
their minds and focus. And say now this is the stone before us. And they rode it away. And they put it away. And say now he has passed there. Now I want to let you know. Jerusalem gathers. Jerusalem gathers protecting. and he protects. Tell your neighbor, I give me the grace which was upon Jerusalem for gathering, not killing, not destroying. And Jesus, I have desired and yearned to gather you children. As a hen gathers her young. Under her wings. But you would not. You would not. Genda maso. Asatu mutan. La venyumba ya mwebale kedua. Hmm. Chifulukwa. Uh-huh. Elamba gamba anti temuli indaba. Mm. Okutusa wemuli gamba anti awele domu kusajja muli njali ya mkama. Uhulite. Nima gamba anti katimu mbalesi muli chifulukwa. Now I said I have left you deserted. Never become a rained house. Temuli vera nyombe e, tula mwava antu. Never allow to become a rained Toga house. Toga nyanga kufuka chifulukwa. A disorate. Which has been abandoned. A house that has been abandoned. Let me tell you. Let us talk about an abandoned house. Yes. What are the key things you know about a number, a, 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 an abandoned house? Bichie bikuru vyomani kuchifurukwa. Bichie bachifurukwa. Chifurukwa. Magi, echifuru kwa chibachitia. Unyera ya soko chisima. Hmm? Magi ya kutunu ulide kubanga sigwe magi. Hey. Alabu damu ansazi. Eh? You don't know? Echifuru kwa tochitabanga. Tama nye chifuru kwa. Nyeenda kutu wala kumubi yalu. Eh? Ona kulide mchivuga. Tama nye chifuru kwa. <laughs> Basu mena mchivuga. Basu mena mchivuga. Tibala baku mchifuru kwa. Gayaza. Gayaza hai. <laughs> Mbogo mixed. Zani nda na masomela. Na magunga gals. Na visunsa. King's College. Ani? Ana Charles ya manyechi furukono. Mama Charles Primary School. <laughs> Mukama eva zwe. Amen. Kanko boli dako. Let me tell you. The desolated house. Or a rained house. A or a, a, an abandoned house. When you go deep in the water there, you will find so many abandoned houses. Many houses are burning. When the war came, people left their houses. Now listen. When AIDS came, it disturbed people so much. And the elder people died. And the children were left in houses. And some of them were taken out of their homes. And they were taken into other family members. And they could leave those houses empty. Where there was a war zone, even if you had a good house, but the war could chase you out of that house. Whenever you could leave that house, and you could leave the house empty, when you reach there, you find isolated houses. Because some people died where they had rent for escape, and they never returned to their houses. 
the house, the rain, the house, whatsoever once just enters, let me tell you, even if it had a a hard cement and concrete. You can find when it has grown grass. And you say, where did this grass come from? And you could not understand. It becomes an, a, 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 an abandoned house becomes an a, a, a habitant. Kakati, a inhabitant. Kati, ene nyumbe ya leke wawo efuka busikabu abi wundo Bibero mumbi. Kudachi fuka changala. Snakes. Emisota. All kinds of animals. Ebi wundo, kamuje. Lizards. Eminya. Nabubi. Katia gamba. Ebi wundo. He's saying, I wanted to gather you. But for you, you wanted to be around the house. You become a the moment you become around the house, you become an, a, a, a habitant to demon. Mm-hmm. Gamba, huh? Okutusa, mm-hmm. Lave in Yumba and Mwebaleke Dutch Fulukwa. Edamba Gamba and Timoli in Dava. Okutusa Remoli Gamba and Tiawere Domic said Yamu in Yaria. Gamba, I am coming to Chilemekuvera Jendi. Lord, I pray that it may not be upon me. Gamba, Chilemekuvera Jendi. That it may be far from me. Mukama Gamet in Kurese. For God to say that I have deserted you now. That be. And abandon the house. Until you say. That blessed. Blessed is he who comes in the Why is he making it? An abandoned house or a rained house. Whosoever that is sent to that house is being stoned. Until the time and you say blessed is he that comes in the name of the Lord. When you have started welcoming, when you have started gathering, and whosoever that comes in the name of the Lord, you protect. That's when he will return. That's when he will say that you are no longer a desolated house. That is the gospel for the Palm Sunday today. Just put your finger there and let's go to to, 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 to verses 19. Verses 28. Verses 28. Luka kumina mwendo rinyiruwa vili mwumunana. Mm. Awe ya boya maro kwa gelevyo, na kule mela na linye Yerusalemi. Awe watu kwa ya linga nanti lukutuka ebe sufagi, ni besaniya. Kusozo luitwa ulwa zaitun. Na atu makuwa igiri zuawe vavili. Nga gamba ati mugende mumbu geli mumaso gamwe. We muna ingiro mumuna labo mwana kuendo kwa inga kusibidwa. Uguteba garuanga kumutu. Mugusumulu le mugulete. Elo muntu bababuza anti mugusumulu ilachi. Mugambe we mutionti mukama wafe ya guetaga. Na babatu mibwane bagenda. Nibala vanga bwa abagambi. Awe bali inga basumulu lo mwana guendo go. Iba nanyi ni gone babagamba anti. Musumulu ilachi o mwana guendo go yogo. Nibagamba anti mukama wafe ya guetaga. Nibagulete li yesu. Nibali lengweza abwe kumwana guendo go yi. Nibibagaza ako yesu. Awo ya linga agenda nevali lengweza we mulugudo. Awo ya linga anate loktu kamu chiko cholu sozo la zaitunu. Echibina chone chava igirizwa nevata nuloku sanyuka. Nukute neza katona nedoboze dene. Ulevi haba gelobyo nabivala va. Nga waga ambanti. Awele domu kisaka waka jira mulinyali ya mkama. Kubira yesu ingalizi. Give God a mighty hand of praise. Bamu tegekira. They prepared. These people prepared. 
and the owner of the colt, when they reached him, and he saw his coat was being untied, and he said, where are you taking it? And they told him that our master is in need of it. He just kept quiet. And he said, now, let them, if, it, if it is the master, it is time to enter into Jerusalem. Let him enter into the glory. And he allowed it to go. Whosoever would bring his, and they could give it up. Because they had seen the value. They don't want the Jerusalem to be an isolated house. They want to welcome what is coming in the name of the Lord. So that Jerusalem will never be a rent house again. And they read their clothing stone. And they led them on the walkway. And they put on the door the cold, on the cold. And he sat on the cold. And the cold started moving. When the disciples are rejoicing that when he he's arriving into the valley of Zion and they shouted that blessed is he the king that comes in the name of the Lord but remember what he said that you will remain an abano in the house until the day you will welcome and say that blessed is he who comes unto us in the name of the Lord. Jerusalem. Jerusalem. You had this. You had left the God the things. You had hated all the things of God. And whosoever comes in the name of the Lord. The thing, you were hating things that has Lord in it. You were hating things that had Lord in it. Now go back and welcome. And said so that blessed is he. That blessed is the thing. Whatsoever comes unto me. In the name of the Lord. Let that land is blessed. That comes unto me. In the name of the Lord. That house is blessed. If it is coming to me. In the name of the Lord. That Lord. Which God is giving me. Is blessed if it is coming in the name of the Lord. Let me speak it in the language you understand. Most of them they want that blesses that man that comes unto you, Jerusalem. When he is blessed and is coming in the name of the Lord. When he is coming in the name of the Lord. There are those that kick them. That the God has sent me to you. Does God send you to me? Now time has come. Have you come in the name of the Lord? Have you come in the name of the Lord? If you have come in the name of the Lord, shall I test that you are come in the name of the Lord? Has come in my name. Even if he has no shoes, he has not even a belt. Amen. 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 Sisters, are you there? Are you there? <laughs> that blessed is it. That comes in the name of the Lord. <laughs> Bless is that. That has come in the name of the Lord. <laughs> Hey. 
Kama ya kundaka. Wali wali dechi. Kwevi. Hmm. Chitufu. Na hacha alichiti. Na how was the dream? Na hacha niko describe. Manye chireo techi. Na gamba. Oh. Kalo Kasa dini na gamba atia. Na gamba. Oh. Uh, Awele. Awele do so mkisajia no. mulinyari ya mkama. Ajira mulinyari ya mkama. Tuwala. Na ye mwenga mubakoli muba mide. <laughs> You have called me day chore. Call him here. I break it. In Jesus' name. Fire. Fire. <laughs> Fire. 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 YouTube. Those on the YouTube. Palm Sunday, no. This Palm Sunday. Welcome whatsoever comes in the name of the Lord. Blessing Bless it when it has come in the name of the Lord. Who's watching me? You are Jerusalem. Welcome whatsoever comes in the name of the Lord. And say that blessed is it that comes in the name of the Lord. I bless that comes in the name of the Lord. I bless my car that comes in the name of the Lord. I bless that land because it comes in the name of the Lord. I bless my husband that is coming because it's coming in the name of the Lord. I bless my wife wife because it's coming in the name of the Lord. I welcome that church. I bless it because it is coming in the name of the Lord. Why don't I live here? May God bless you. Because according to what I see, if I exceed, it may be something else. Say, I am blessed. Because I'm coming unto you in the name of the Lord. If you are next to the sister, tell them that I'm blessed because I'm coming unto you in the name of the Lord. <laughs> Sister, I'm blessed because I'm coming unto you. I come unto you. I'm blessed because I'm coming to you in the name of the Lord. Man is blessed because it's coming unto me in the name of the Lord. That job is blessed because it is coming unto me in the name of the Lord. It is coming to Jerusalem in the name of the Lord. I'm the seat of the Lord. I'm the Jerusalem and it's blessed blessed whosoever comes to me in the name of the Lord. I will never be an abandoned house. I will never be an abandoned house again. I'm going to be a resource in the name of the Lord. Now I wish you a blessed Palm Sunday. May God do gracious unto you. May he prosper you. May he make you rich. May you make you great. May he do you good in the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Lord. I raise the anointing of favor. The anointing of riches. I raise the grace that God may enter into a new grace. As Jerusalem welcomed Christ, welcome certain things in your life. Where you are going to see Christ, the things that are going to portray Christ, welcome them into your life. 
Welo come those that are portraying Christ. Welo come them. The man is going to portray the glory of Christ. The house is going to portray the glory of Christ. My home is going to portray the glory of Christ. My marriage is going to glorify Christ. I welcome them in my life. In the name of the Lord. May God bless.